Welcome to Crazy Town Media's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Start the timer. Heck yeah. TNT. Um, so I don't know. I was driving around Austin the other day, and I noticed that, and I've, I've seen these billboards that are basically, they're trying to lure people to Ohio. Have you seen these? From, from here? In Austin, yeah. Why? There are billboards. What? On the side of the road, and it says, it says, why, it's something, I don't remember the exact verbiage, but it says basically, what does 300 days of sunshine matter if you're always inside, and it says Ohio. And like, so it's like they're trying to convince people to move to Ohio, and as two people from Ohio who have relocated to Austin. Wait, wait a minute, what's, oh, because of the current infrastructure. Well, well. Is that what they're saying? No, I I don't know what. Are they trying to save just because you can get COVID? You might as well go to. Ohio. I don't know what because like, and I, it was funny because I looked this up when I was moving from Ohio to Austin. Ohio only gets about sixty five days of sunshine a year. The yes. rest is overcast, yes. whatever. Yes. And Austin gets three hundred days of sunshine a year, which almost is polar opposite. So they use that verbiage. And I don't know how that is going to convince anyone to go to Ohio. And plus, being from Ohio, I know what Ohio's like. Austin is way better. I'm, I'm, <laughs> it seems like they just have to resort to like dirty, underhanded, just blatant lies in order to get people to move to Ohio for, to a certain extent. Right, right. Yeah. Like, and I was just like, but who wouldn't rather? And like, I never knew what 300 <laughs> days of sunshine was like until I came here. And I. I don't not want that. Like it, re it really puts you in a better overall mood having the sun out. It does a hundred percent. I wonder how many guys saw that sign and then went home to their wife and like, honey, pack up your stuff. We're moving to Ohio. I saw a sign. <laughs> We're always in the house anyway. Might as well spend it up north. I was know? listening to Ace it's of Base. Way cheaper. Way While cheaper. I saw this sign, and I saw the sign was on my radio, yeah. and I saw the sign. Yeah. And I was like, it's a sign. Yeah. So I, I'm going to go. And now I feel like the Lord is calling us to move to Ohio. Let me ask you this. Is there anything better about Ohio than Austin? Is there anything that Ohio has better than Austin? Right. Other than if you like snow and stuff like that. Obviously, that's okay. a subjective. I was going to say, yeah, the snow would probably be You have be four better. full seasons in Ohio. Yes. Yes. Um, so I would say is that that part is beautiful. So fall, I, I spent just this past fall in Ohio, and I have to say is that's watching the, yeah. the leaves change color was pretty cool. Yeah, I haven't seen that in quite some time because I've been in the South for so long now. Yeah, I uh, I Almost agree. 10 years. And I guess it was funny growing up as a kid and you learn about the seasons and all that stuff. As a kid, like people in like. Texas they're like what is that yeah, yeah. they're Florida. like what do you what do you mean it gets we get there's there's a season of snow and the leaves change and and see and that's the one thing it's like I can't believe there's people in the south who have never seen snow in their life like IRL snow that's that's crazy right I mean yeah Austin last year got like what two inches of snow or something and people go out and fake sled and take photos mm -hmm. and all that stuff but until you see it drop like a foot of snow and you got to like wipe your car off and watch the snow plow Five and the snow where the snow is up to your knee. Yeah. Like that's snow. That's real yeah. snow. Yeah, exactly. But, but other than that, other than season stuff, like what does, what is Ohio? I'm trying to think of like, uh, the Browns are the best football team to ever <laughs> walk. <to> right. Place. <laughs> now Ohio does have, like, if you live in, in the area we lived, you can go to Cedar point, which is the only Cedar point in the country. So people do go to Ohio for Cedar Point. People go to Ohio to go to the Football Hall of Fame and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but they're not worth there. living in Ohio no, for. No, no, no. Um, Lake Erie, I mean, it's the biggest body of water that isn't an ocean, wow. but that's not worth living near either. It's dirty. Wow. And, and see, you're asking the right question because, like, I can talk shit about Ohio because we're from there. Right, you know? right. Yeah. And I do deep down, at least I know in me, I have like this innate love for oh, it me because too, it's dude, the yeah. hometown. Right. Exactly. But I but can't name Mr. anything. Hero? Mr. Hero ain't worth living there for, but Mr. Hero is good. Yeah. Nothing, dude. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. They have a casino, but there's casinos everywhere. 
I kind of feel like this, this sentiment holds true for a lot of places though, where it's just like, you know, what does any one place have other than over another place? Yeah. But Austin has a lot of things at other places. All right. What does Austin have? That's Dude, better than a, Ohio. There's a giant state park. That's like seven miles long. And Ohio a big, it, has it, parks. In the middle of the, it, the capital of a city. There's, there's like tons of music nightlife. There's, there's Ohio has music. Dude. Okay. I'm playing All devil's right. advocate You're, for Ohio. You got to convince me. So you, so on any given night in Stop Ohio, me from taking that trip with my wife, and because I just saw the, the bill. So in Ohio, you can go see one show tonight. In Austin, you can go see thirty different shows tonight. I'm not going out anyway. Just remember, dude, it's the pandemic. We're supposed <laughs> to stay in the house. I might as well just be in Ohio. Convince me otherwise. <laughs> Right. I just read the sign. I'm in the house yeah. all the time. Yeah. Convince I mean, me. Go kayaking. I can go kayaking in Ohio. How many people you know ever went kayaking in Ohio? I I've never been kayaking here, so I, I mean, don't... <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, you might see you later. You're moving out, no, huh? <laughs> I don't know. It's like I said, it's a, it's a hard argument to really to really nail down. I will say is that the people that live here, it's, there's more diversity here than there is in Ohio. Yeah, um, yeah. There's for more sure. diversity. I would have to say is that if you're finding, if you're looking for an activity, because there's so many people, so much diversity, you're going to have an easier time finding stuff. Like, well, right. And in, 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 no matter what culture you're from, whether, yeah, whether it's, yeah. whether even if you're from a foreign culture outside of America, mm -hmm. like, you know, you can come here, there's groups that do Asian culture or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Um, whereas so, Ohio, it's, yeah, you're very limited. Yeah. So I don't feel things like, uh, like improv or like stand up comedy, which is like, you can find a lot of outlets for that here in, in, in Austin. I don't feel like those are exclusive to Austin. You can find those in Ohio, but you're going to find it easier out here. Yeah, and you'd even find it easier in LA. And e ease of use. Mm -hmm. In Austin compared to Ohio, yeah. but I guess like ultimately too, people one though I guess the one thing that their mo their money will go farther in Ohio. So if you make if you have a two hundred k a year job and you're and you can work virtually, you can go to Ohio and buy the same house here that you could get there with probably three times as much land for half the price, if not less. Hey, look, man, Dave Chappelle stays in Ohio. Yeah, in a super small town. Like, I looked that up. He lives in a really small, like, old hippie town. And I'm just saying. It's like, you know. Yeah. I th I thought about that, dude. Like, once I get old and stuff and, like. You're going to move back? If I can get a, a bomb-ass house for, like, <laughs> with a good chunk of land and You're not be bothered. Back? Not in Not in the next anytime soon back but to like, ashtabula yeah yeah that's it that's Ooh. where i'd go absolutely Ooh. but no like i thought about like moving to like a more like remote rural type place where you can get a way cheaper piece of land and property no and that's fair that's and fair. your money goes farther because like okay yeah we live close to the city and with covid we're not doing anything but we're also getting older at some point the downtown like being able to go out downtown like you're like yeah i could go out downtown but i could also just go to the bar down the street i don't need to go all the clubs downtown yeah or, you know or you're not going to as many concerts you're not going to do improv or go to museums you're just like dude i'll drive into the city if i want to and go i do guess that that's like the main thing is that oh open carry Yep, there we go. There we if go. you want to carry your gun it. in the streets, Found here's it. the place to do it. Open in Ohio, carry. they want to do it, but it's not legal to do it. So yeah, that's yeah, where yeah. we uh, that's can't, where we went. Can't yeah. do that in Ohio. I don't know what else Ohio really has to offer that's so much better. Hunting, I, mean, I guess you can. There's a lot more deer and things like that to hunt. If so, if you're a hunter, that's, that's a valid fishing, point. fishing, like fishing and hunting. If you're an outdoorsman, but Texas has a lot of outdoor stuff, dude. There's hunting and fishing. Yeah, here. but you gotta, you know, you gotta go out of the way for that. In Austin, it's hard. Yeah, you gotta drive a, you know, ways yeah. out. But yeah, and even if you're in Cleveland, you go like. 13 miles south and you're basically in the woods. Yeah, I remember just like going like on the side of the freeway and hunting in Ohio. I don't I don't think that's legal. You I mean, say that look, lot. it wasn't legal, but I did it. Statue of limitations is up. This was way more than seven years ago. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I don't know. And then if you go like Florida has really good fishing. Yeah, so I guess there are things that I, like I said, I, I don't feel you can do any anything is exclusive to a certain area, but ease of access. Yeah, ease of access. Anyways, that's all the time we got for today's episode. Like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com. Jonas. TNT. We out.